These are the best things that you can do rather than trying to get into long conversations with the gatekeeper. In certain instances, uh, we do try and build rapport with the gatekeeper if we keep hitting them time and time again. You can have a good conversation with them. I know people who think you should be rude and condescending to them and try and almost take the element of knowing somebody a bit too far and they're quite condescending and I don't think it's a nice way of doing it. You can also have a conversation with a gatekeeper. They can give you lots of useful information about the person that you need to speak to and how they like to be approached. The problem with having that conversation is the more information you try to extract from them, the more information they will end up extracting from you. And the problem with that is that they will pass on that information and they will pass on a diluted version of your pitch. Which means the next time you try and speak to them, they will probably already have a negative assumption about you or already decided that they don't really, they're not really interested in your services. It's so frustrating when you phone up after speaking to a gatekeeper and they tell you to call back the next day or to send something. And then the same gatekeeper picks up the phone and says, oh yes, we did get your email, we'll come back to you if we're interested, thanks. There's nothing you can do with that. So that's why I believe, don't waste too much time trying to be clever or gather loads of information. Just try and figure out when they think is a good time to call back. Time your call. In fact, people always say, how many times should I try before I give up? Well, until you don't need the money anymore. As far as I'm concerned, if you want to engage that client, you only need to really get through to them once. If you want to give up after 10 attempts, then give up. But if you keep chipping away, you take a polite, proactive expert approach, you will get through to them and you will make a massive impact. Now I often say you shouldn't really buy databases because it, all the information you could want is online. However, many of us acquire databases or have old databases that have been in the system for quite some time before they join the company. And it's hard to know how good a quality this information is and whether you should bother phoning them up and trying to talk to them. I think that you should try and cleanse all of your data. And if that's the situation that you're in, you might want to reposition your call as being a research call. You can phone somebody up, introduce yourself and say, hi there, I'm just going through some old records on our system at the moment. I just wanted to update them. Uh, can I just double check, is this still the person who looks after this service for you? 